All right, today on Ferris 101, I'm gonna show you how I took a bunch of old junk I found and built this charging station to cope with the cord clutter on my kitchen counter. All right, so the other day I decided it was high time that I dealt with this ever-increasing mess of charger cables. So I dug around in my wood pile a bit and found some end scraps that would match well enough and cut them down to this simple design using the least material I could. So then I cut a set of shallow curves to hold the top and some deeper ones to carry the shelf. Okay, so I just clean out these grooves using my chisels. Then I fit the back brace and use the stone to open up the hole enough to accept a countersunk screw. Then I laid some carpenter's glue into the dado grooves. And across the butts of the cross brace. Once I got my countersunk screws in the back, I eyeballed a couple of reinforcing screws down each side. Now adequate ventilation is critical for the success of your station, so I use these nail-on feet for added clearance and a non-scratching footprint. Then it was just a matter of making this old scratched slate tile that I found beside a dumpster fit the groove by chiseling the bottom side of the groove where no one would ever notice. So if you've got electronics that get really warm when you're charging them, you can place them on the stone top and use it as a heat sink. That is to say, a place for the heat to sink into. Alright, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!